In Blueprint 5.1, we've updated the graphical interface, uh, first of all, to incorporate ribbons, the more modern type interface that most tools are using today. And also, we've updated the ability to uh, work with the various panes that we have here, like the PCB view format pane and the, uh, the tool palette here. Uh, now I have options by right clicking, such as auto hide, where I can actually hide those and then only bring them up when I need them. I could also get rid of a particular pane if I don't want it. I can always go back under my view options in panes and turn those back on. I can pick up and uh, float a particular pane. If I want to redock it then it's important to watch these uh, arrows here and they'll show you where you're going to dock that pane. I can take multiple panes and actually combine them as I've done here so that they're tabbed. And I can also pick up one of these tabs and place it either above, beside, or below the existing one. So this gives you the ability to modify the uh, user interface to uh, what you're most comfortable with. And going to the uh, ribbons type interface, we've gone away from the context sensitive toolbars that we had in version 4.0. Click on a PCB view, for instance, you would get a toolbar specific to that, or a note block uh, a toolbar specific to note blocks, or even a table. And what we've done is we've gone to context sensitive ribbons. So if I come over here in 5.1 now and I click on a PCB view, you can see that I get the same sort of items here, but in a more logical format and also a format option where I can change things in the PCB view. This also works again for tables and for note blocks. So a very similar concept, but less mouse clicks if you do it in the ribbon interface as opposed to the older uh, 4.0 table type interface. And also your screen doesn't jump around as much as you move back and forth between the, uh, uh, the various items on your drawing.